the Lord. It's nice to be here. All you from the city of Abuja. Yeah, I miss home. <laughs> I miss Kindle Christian Embassy. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I want to thank Apostle for the opportunity to minister this morning in worship. I really, really appreciate this privilege, this wonderful privilege. I'm not taking for granted, sir. Thank you so much. Can we appreciate Apostle in the house? Please, can you put your hands together for Apostle and his wife? Also, let's appreciate Apostle Dan. Hello, Apostle Dan. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. God bless everyone. I appreciate everyone. I miss everyone at home. And I want to get into a serious time of worship. You know, there's a burden in the house for fellowship and for deep companionship with the Holy Ghost. So, so, so we'll not be distracted. I want you to get away from all the noise everything that distracts you, if, in case you want to greet somebody by your side, you just so you can greet him before we start. So I want you to just forget about yourself and then, you know, get into a place of, forget that it's a live stream. Forget that it's a, a time where I'm not around, but the Holy Spirit is there. So just connect. I want you to take a posture. This is a prayer, a, a prayer meeting. Go to the back, kneel down, lie down, just get into the posture. Your posture matters a lot. So, yeah. So, Father, we trust you. We trust you that you're going to help us tonight or this morning, rather. We ask to God that you come because you are the Father of light. And in you, there is no shadow or turning. There is no change. There is no difference. There is, no, there is nothing that can compare to what we have in you. You are the Father of light, oh God. So, we ask to God that's a fellowship tonight. So 
about the state, forget about everything that is around you. We are not alone. Whenever we call, He answers. We are here to pray. We are here to seek the face of God. Oh, we know we are not alone, Jesus. So we come boldly before the throne of mercy. No one find favor and grace. Ah, in times of need, you said we should drink from the world and never run dry. Because this world, if we drink of it, oh, we shall test no more. Oh, and we are not alone. This we know, Jesus. Woo! say no no that to yourself.
now everybody lift your hands and say I'm desperate
every dead thing come alive send revival in my life I need you now more than before oh let every dry bone come to life send revival in this place we need you now more than before let every dry bone come alive send revival in this land i need you now more than before for the last time can you sing together with me we need you now more than before we need your touch oh breath of god Let every dead thing spring up a life. Send revival in this place. We need you now more than before. And so, Father, send revival. Send revival. Let your fire rekindle every passion. Rekindle everything that is not alive in us. Break every chain. Can you raise up your hands right now? Lift up your voices. Can you start praying this uh, this morning? Just stand up from 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 wherever you are. Start raising up your hands and start saying, "Oh God, I need you. We need you. We need you. I'm desperate for you." Can you open your mouth and say, "Lord, I'm desperate. I am hungry for revival. I won't let a passion, a fresh fire, 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 fresh fire, fresh fire." Fresh fire, let the fire of the Holy Ghost, let the power of the Holy Ghost come alive in us.